Examples A, B, and C in this chapter were just individually about mean, median, and mode, which are the three measures, the three common measures of central tendency. And example D how it, uh, dealt with all three of them at once. So I just skip straight to example D, and that's the one we're gonna we're gonna deal with here. The uh, table you see on your right is ages and numbers of customers that came to a face painting uh, table at a church bake sale. So we had uh, at the table we had one person who came in that was two years old, and we had two who came in that were three years old, and so on and so forth. Uh, what we need to do is find first the mean age. So the mean age, not the age that the students were the meanest, <laughs> but the average. The arithmetic mean is the number that most people would consider uh, to be the average. So what we need to do is find the total number of years of age that we have, and then divide it by the number of ages, the number of people who's, who those years were divided among. So if we count up the total number of kids, we have 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1, that looks like 30. So there's 30 kids. And then if we add up all of their ages, so we have uh, 1 times 2 and 3 times 3 and 4 times 4 and so on, and we add up all the number of years total, we had a total of 170 years. So 170 years, and that's divided among 30 kids. 170 divided by 30 is about 5 and 2 thirds. So 5 and 2 thirds is the mean age or the average age of the kids that came to the face painting table. So now the next thing we need to find is the median. Now the median age would be the age that's right in the middle. So what we need to do is figure out where the middle of the number of kids is. So if we take of all the children, there's 30 kids, then what we need to do is figure out what the age of the kid who's really halfway between the 15th and 16th oldest. I know that sounds a little silly, but what we want, the median age will be the age where there's the same number of kids below that age and the same number of kids above that age. So the median will have the the number below is equal to the number above. So in this case, uh, between the 15th and 16th oldest, we have six years. So if we lined up all these ages, you know, we went uh, 2 and then 3, 3, 3, and 4, 4, 4, 4, and so on, all the way up until we got to nine, because there's only one nine-year-old, and then counted back to, uh, 15 this way and 15 this way, those two in the middle would be six years. So our median age is six years. So now the last thing, the last major central tendency is the mode. The mode is the most common, the most common number. In this table, we can see the most common number is going to be the one that has the highest graph, so it's going to be this right here, and that age is seven years old. So our mode is seven or seven years. The most common age for a kid to be coming to the table is seven years old. And we can see that really in this in this example, all three measures of central tendency have, have sort of value or have validity. It's interesting to note that the average age was really a little bit lower than the most common age. So that tells us that there were really, there were more kids that were below the most common age than there were above the most common age. And we can sort of verify that by looking at the graph. We can see that it's sort of weighted a little bit more toward the lower age side. The median age, the age that's right in the middle between the highest and lowest was six years. So kind of the, the, the age that uh, there were the same number above and the same number below, that's the six year mark. And then the most common age was seven years. So it's kind of inter interesting to see that the most common age was a little bit higher than the average age. There were a lot of people that came in that were above the average age, but the ones that came in below that age were a lot below.